In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to create logos like the ones you're seeing now for free in just five minutes or less. And I'm gonna be teaching you how to do it without downloading any software. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on Create a Pro website. My name is Levi Hagen and I'm gonna show you how to design your free logo step by step. Now here at Create a Pro website, we're dedicated to providing you with in-depth tutorials on how to create a website and how to make money online. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all of our invaluable tutorials, helping you to develop a passive income online. So I don't wanna waste any more of your time, let's jump right into making the logo. So step number one is to go to the very first link in the description or go to logomaker.com but without the E. Now, once you're in LogoMaker, you can go ahead and click out of this and these little mini tutorials because I'm gonna be showing you how to use it right now. So just as a quick overview, you can see in the top left corner, we've got the search bar where you can search from over a million different graphics. Over here on the left side, we've got the basic functions. So I've got text right here, regular shapes, and the paint bucket. And then over here on the right hand side, I've got the color wheel, where on the wheel, I can change the color. The center square, I can change the saturation. And then the slider is for opacity. Okay, so step number two is to create an icon. So I'm gonna go ahead and go up to the top left corner and search for my own icon. But before I do, I wanted to show you that you can actually click on these categories, like the abstract category, and you can get a whole bunch of different abstract logos that you can choose from. Or I could try sketches, or decorative, and so on. And you guys get the idea. Now, instead of using one of these, I'm actually gonna go ahead and click back up in the search bar and search my own. So I'm gonna be looking for a traffic cone. And as you can see, I can already search from over a million different traffic cones, but I'm gonna go ahead and just choose this one. And then you can go ahead and do different things to your icon as well, like resizing it. So I can click on the corner and drag it out. I can also stretch it horizontally and vertically. And I can also rotate my icon like this. Perfect. So step number three is choosing your brand name. So I'm gonna go over here and add some text like this, but I'm gonna add two different ones so I can add a title and a subtitle. So for the first one, I'm gonna go ahead and call this company Liability, just for fun. <laughs> because you definitely want a construction company that's called Liability. And then I'm gonna go over and click the text button again and add a subtitle. Just like that and then I can go ahead and drag it down. And as you can see, as I move it around, it tries to smart snap into places, like centering it like this. So that's pretty helpful. I can also move it around by clicking on it and moving it with my arrow keys like this. Let me go ahead and snap it back into place. Now that I have my text in place, I'm gonna go ahead and customize the font to look appropriate. So I can click on the font I wanna change and go up to the top bar. And you've got the font category right here and I can choose decorative, fun and funky, scary, or handwriting. But I'm gonna go ahead and stick with simple and modern. And then you can change the font itself. And I'm gonna scroll all the way up to the top and choose this one. Perfect. And then I can also click on this style button right here and change things like line height or letter spacing. But all I'm really gonna do is just increase the size. So I'm just gonna click on the corner and drag it out. Perfect. And then I can click on the bottom one, and I actually will increase the letter spacing of this guy. And decrease the size until it looks like this. All right, and now I'm going to center it. Perfect. So step number four is to choose your colors. So now I'm going to go ahead and change the colors of my logo. So whatever you have highlighted is what the color is going to be applied to. So I'm going to click on my traffic cone and go over to my color wheel and I can change the color by choosing the outside of the circle, so something like this. And then I can change the saturation, so I can make it more gray or more colorful. And then I can also change the opacity, but I'm gonna leave it fully opaque. I can also highlight multiple things at the same time like this and change the color of both of my text functions. So I'm gonna change it to black, and I think that looks perfect. Okay, so step number five is to download your logo. So in order to do that, we're just gonna go up to the top right corner and click on the save logo right here. Now this is important. If you see here, it's asking if I wanna download the high resolution file, which I will say no right here and click on no thanks, I'll take the low resolution file. The low resolution file is free and the high resolution file is not. 
if you want the high resolution logo, then you'll have to pay for it. Considering that it's free and it works, I usually just use the low resolution file, but it's your choice to pay for something nicer. So I'm gonna click on no thanks, download the low resolution file. And as you can see, it's already downloaded to my computer. Now, once you have a place that you saved it on your computer, you finally have your custom logo. You'll notice that it saves as a PNG file, which is really important because the file leaves the background as transparent. So you can put the logo on top of anything you want. And lastly, if you ever wanna save your place in the logo so that you can come back and edit it later, all you have to do is click on the saved logo URL right here and copy it to your clipboard, just like that. Now you wanna go ahead and write this down or save it somewhere on your computer because all you have to do, if I were to close this tab and open a new one, is paste it into the URL, hit enter, and now you can continue to edit your logo just like that. All right, guys, that was my tutorial on how to create your own logo in less than five minutes. I hope you all got what you came for and were able to build your own logo for free. If you're just now setting up your own business and creating a logo to brand it, you might want to consider getting a website for your business as well. If that's the case, be sure to check out the rest of the videos on the channel for in-depth tutorials on how to build your own website step by step. Anyways, that's all I have for you today. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.